we pull over just so Tom could grab his scissors? We're going to have a little haircut. So you're thinking of putting it outside the car or inside the car? Inside. Okay, right, cool. Just a tiny bit, it'll be fun. Right. Hi guys, welcome to Carpool Cosmetics. I'm Olivia, I'm Features Editor of GraziaME.com. Today we are going to be picking up Tom Connell, who is the Artistic Director of Trevor Sorby International. They have just opened a brand new salon in the Dubai Mall and we're going to be learning all about his techniques and what they hope for the future. Hi, Tom Connell, lovely to meet you. Very nice to meet you, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. So we're so excited to have you join us um, for an episode of Carpool Cosmetics. Yeah, happy to be here. <laughs> so we'll be discussing all your makeup tips. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what kind of inspired you to get into hair? Um, so my parents, um, both hairdressers, they had okay. a salon and uh, I used to just started to work with them for a little bit of extra pocket money and then when I was 16 my dad um, took me to watch a hair show. When I didn't know what a hair show was at this point. And when I arrived at the show, it was for a guy called Trevor Sorby. So I watched Trevor do his one-man show for, for an hour and a half, and it, it, it got me hooked. And I thought, if I, okay, if I'm going to do this as a career, I want to do what that guy does, and I, I want to work for him. So the brand, obviously, is now moving to the region, mm -hmm. to the UAE for the first time. Yes. So what's the sort of appeal? Like, why now do you think uh, for Trevor Sorby? So whenever we're, we're looking to expand, we always want to... We don't just want it to be for because it's a big city. It's got to be be right for us. You know, it's it's not just a, a, a kind of affluent city that's that's you know the same as other ones in the world. It's actually stuff that's, that's kind of booming and growing from within. And I yeah. think when you get into a, a location like that, where you're in from the up, not the ground up, but you're in at a time where there's lots of creativity and there's lots of movements being created. We felt like that was a good fit for us. So you brought over a team of stylists from yes, the UK, yeah, yeah. from various like UK yes. points. We've recruited some people internationally that have come from other countries. Um, we've recruited a couple of people that already were working in Dubai, but the main guys in the salon, Serena and, and Fiona, who are our lead team there, uh, they worked in our Manchester salon. And they were the two of our top uh, stylists and technicians there. So are you going to do a hair consultation? Yes. Can I just feel your hair? Is it quite thick? You You've got quite a lot of weight in the back. We have a technique um, that we've been developing called invisible layers for, okay. for, for her exactly like yours because really one length hair can be a little bit, um, can be quite static and, and not move very well. Yeah. But also, by the same kind, if I go through and put lots of layers through, you're going you're gonna to start to see the ends. It's going to create a little bit more difficulty mm -hmm. in, in drying it. So it's a technique where we, we blow dry the hair and we we use the points of the scissors inside the hair to, to remove weight and add some texture. But if you was to comb your hair, it would you won't see any layers. It'd just be perfectly kind of smooth and you'll have that real kind of, I'm imagining you like that real clean line. Yeah, yeah. But then if you went through and put some, your hands through it, it'd swing and you'd have all this little bit of texture through the underneath. Uh, and it's, I, th yeah. I think it's the layer for the for kind of 2018. So do you think, do you think we could have a go at, at trimming if we pull over, just to see? Yeah, why not? Can we try? Yeah, yeah. So, what, what, on the street? Well, if I put, I've got a little blanket, we could just have a tight seat. Let's go over there, yeah. Shall we try? Yeah. So we've pulled over, and we're gonna have a little go at, um, well, Tom's gonna give my hair a little cut. Right, so but we're we not gonna be moving because <laughs> no, it's, too, no. it's too far. <laughs> So this is where I feel like the hair was the thickest. Yeah. So I'm just going to remove a little bit of weight underneath there. Oh my god, I can feel it. And I'm using a razor because I want it to be very, very soft. If I was using the scissors, I could make it a little bit too heavy and a bit too blunt. Because I almost razor. Yeah, I almost don't want you to be able to feel uh, I don't, don't want you to be able to see the ends, I just want you to feel that it's lighter. So essentially what we're doing is putting a, an extremely long undercut through the underneath, so we're taking a few shorter pieces to long, so then when you drop the longer hair back over the top of it, okay. you have some weight removed, so you'll just feel, you won't be able to see the ends, you won't, be, won't, won't interfere with your drying it, but what you'll feel like is that it's just a little bit lighter and that it moves a little bit more. Yeah, there's a good bit of hair come off. Oh my gosh, there's loads that's come off. So that's just all from the underneath and you won't ever see it. 
you won't see where it's come from, you won't see any short pieces, but you'll just feel like when you dry it, it's just got a little bit more movement. Because the long yeah, piece, because we've taken some shorter pieces underneath, the long bit of hair lies over the top of it and can move over the short pieces rather than it all sitting to the same point and not moving. Well, Tom, thanks so much for joining us um, in the back seat. It's, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for doing my hair and saving me a job yeah. <laughs> to come in later. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it and thanks so much. My pleasure, nice to meet you.